uh, into your portfolio. Uh, Labor has accused you of whipping up fear by suggesting Palestinian terrorists or sympathisers may have received fast-track visas to enter Australia. Your thoughts on that charge? Well, the Minister for Home Affairs and the Prime Minister might be very relaxed about the risk of a Hamas supporter or sympathiser coming to our country, but I'm not relaxed about that. And I can tell you the Jewish community is not relaxed about that either. I had a, a function with them last night where a number of them expressed very sincere and deep concerns about this. At a time in which we're having the worst anti-Semitism crisis in a generation, I think we need to be taking much greater care before we bring people to this country without adequate checks. And this government has allowed more than 2,000 people from Gaza to apply and be granted visas to come to this country. And the time taken to approve some of those visas, on average, we've been told in Senate estimates was one day, but there was a case reported by the ABC which is acknowledged by the department where someone's visa was granted from Gaza in just one hour. Now, let's remember, this is a war zone controlled by a terrorist organisation. Mm. And while there is obviously a very genuine humanitarian need in Gaza and many innocent people who are also victims of Hamas, there are also supporters of Hamas in Gaza. And my challenge to the Minister for Home Affairs is to stand up today, hand on heart, and promise the Australian people that among those 2,000 visas her department has granted, there is not one single supporter of Hamas. Because if a Hamas supporter comes to this country, how is that going to help the anti-Semitism crisis? How is that going to help the social cohesion problems that we've seen in this country? So, as we reported a little earlier, the government has made this comparison about other wars. So you've got just over 300 Palestinians who are here so far, more to come. But the government has pointed out that that's less than the 500 Syrians who came here under your government. I mean, is that a reasonable explanation or comparison? Well, 2,200 visas have been granted and all those people can get on a plane and come here as soon as they're able to. So that's an artificial comparison, yes. And the government might think that you can do an adequate identity check and security check on a person uh, for applying for a visa in just 60 minutes, but I'm very sceptical about that. Let's remember, Pete, if you want to bring a skilled worker to this country, it takes months of processing. If you want to bring a spouse to this country, it can take a year. If you want to bring a parent to this country, it can take five years or more. And they, are we seriously saying that from a war zone controlled by a terrorist organisation, we can tick people off in just 60 minutes? Mm. I think that is undue haste. Sure. I think that is rush. And I think that's a real risk. What if, what if, and I'm just going to close here because we're out of time, what if they've just got nowhere else to go? So, I mean, I see your point. I see your point. What if they've got nowhere else to go? So it's a matter of urgency. As I said, Pete, there's no doubt there's a genuine humanitarian need in Gaza and Australia does have a role to alleviate that, but we're not the only country in the world that can play a role there. Yeah. And it should never come at the expense of our own security and safety, nor of the security and safety of the Jewish community, who feels more under besieged than ever before in our history and, frankly, hasn't had the support it deserves from this government in tackling this anti-Semitism crisis. OK. James, good to see you, as always. We'll chat to you soon.